Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to get uh, essentially rain or snow, like particle effects um, on uh, essentially like rain events or snow events. So <clears throat> I've been trying to figure this out for quite a bit. Um, so what you would think is if you want rain or snow like on the map itself, um, you would think that you would do, you know, like uh, a weather area or a weather zone uh, and then have the property set to like rain or snow and you would get like the particle effects of like raindrops uh, like that way. Um, that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, so like as an example, if I go here in game, uh, you can see here that my terrain is like kind of wet, uh, has like particle effects on it. But what I need is I need like some rain to go with it to make it more immersive. So the only way I figured out how to do this essentially is, we'll exit the simulation, is <clears throat> you put it on the player model. So essentially what you're doing is putting the particle effects like on the uh, the camera aspect for the player. So it, it looks like there's rain and stuff like on the HUD instead of it actually being like on like a, uh, a map object, like a weather object. So what you do is you're going to want to delete out these existing rain effect ones here. So delete this one, delete this far one. And what you want to do is the only one I found that this works with is you don't want the normal effect. You want this effect one right here. So you drag this right here. We'll just move this up a little bit. And so what you do with this before you put the particles on it is you want to link it to the body here. So I'm going to go to the properties over here and look for... Uh, da, da, where's the parent at? Parent. Oh, there it is, parent. So the parent you want to make it is the player. So in this case, I'm running the actor of the Spartan suit one. Um, you want to make sure it's this one, not any of the other ones. So I'm going to click OK on this. Uh, you want to attach it to the root. You don't want to preserve the position because you want it to be associated to the uh, player's head in a little bit. So you hit OK, it moves it down there, <clears throat> and the bone is where is the most important part because you're going to be putting it on the uh, camera. So if you expand this BIP01 and go down to um, let's see which one was it? It was like it's like search for head and then. Uh, here we go. The, so you want to like have it down like this subtree and get to where like the head is the parent level, and you want to put it on this uh, loc actor camera and hit OK. And you don't want to reserve uh, preserve it. So you see here it moves it up to essentially like the head level where the camera is going to be. So now what you want to do is <clears throat> add the particle effect for the rain in the hood. So the first thing you want to do is you want to emulate the sound of it. So you'll just type in rain and you'll click on, so you can do uh, rain on mask or rain on shoulder. For this example, I'm just going to do on the shoulder. So that adds the rain sound to the sh uh, shoulder. And then to add the particle effects, you uh, go to particles right here and open this up. So the one you want for this is you want this HUD one. And you can choose from uh, different ones, like hard ones and stuff like that. So I'm going to choose this HUD rain droplets hard one and hit OK. And what you want is you'll see uh, these like rain effects, essentially, that's like the camera position. You want it to look like this. So if I go in game, you'll see that it's essentially like the rain uh, particles are falling with the player. So if I run around... You can see it, it's essentially on the camera. So this is pretty cool that you don't have to worry about like adding the particle effects like, you know, in the map, like in a weather zone or area. You just do it on the player. So it's kind of cool. So you can see that you're still getting it like in the gas mask and you take it off. You still get it. So that's how you do uh, essentially like any type of particle effects. You want to be on the player. Um, 
I haven't figured it out yet, but uh, there is probably one thing you could take it further for like immersion <clears throat> is like, say when you enter like this house right here, um, you can probably add a restrictor like on this house. So like you could uh, drag a restrictor right here, move it and just like block it off where the house is. And you could probably add a property to this. It's like a trigger event when like player walks in, it turns the particle effect off. I haven't figured that out yet, but that's probably the next step for immersion. But hopefully this helps because this was a huge headache for me trying to figure out how to essentially get particle effects on the map. So, yep.